Here I'm given two functions, f of x and g of x, and in part a I'm asked to add the two functions together. So when I see this kind of problem, f of x plus g of x, then all I want to do is replace f of x with its representation, 3x squared plus 2x minus 1, plus g of x, x squared plus 2x plus 5. It's very important that I write out the problem, the first step in this way, with each function inside parentheses and the plus sign here. This will help us when we get down to this problem where we have a subtraction of the two functions. My first step is to remove the parentheses from each function and because there is no sign or number in front of the parenthesis here, I can just remove and because there's a plus sign here, I can just remove the parenthesis. So it may seem like that step was not very useful, but in fact it really was because it helps us understand what we're dealing when we're combining these two functions. My next step is going to be to combine like terms. So I have 3x squared plus x squared, remember there's a 1 in front, coefficient, that's 4x squared, 2x plus 2x, that's plus 4x, and then a negative 1 or minus 1 plus 5 is going to give me a plus 4, and this is my final result then for f of x plus g of x. Notice that we added together these two functions and we obtained, in fact, another function. Let's look at the subtraction here, f of x minus g of x. So I'm going to approach this the same way that I did the first problem and I'm going to write out f of x and then I'm going to put my subtraction sign and then I'm going to put g of x. So each function is in parentheses. It's very important. My second step is going to be to remove the parentheses. Well, for function f of x, just as in part a, there's nothing in front here, so I can remove the parentheses as is, leaving everything inside the same. However, when I do that for function g of x, I'm going to have to apply that negative to everything inside the parentheses. So I'm distributing, essentially, negative 1 times each of the coefficients of the terms inside parentheses. Now I'm going to combine like terms. So I have 3x squared minus x squared. That gives me 2x squared. 2x minus 2x. Well, that gives me 0x. So I'm not going to write that down because that just becomes 0. Minus 1 minus 5 becomes minus 6. And that is my final answer for f of x minus g of x. So again, be sure that when you start, you put each function in its place with the appropriate sign in between, remove the parentheses, and then combine like terms.